Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Sorry I have really been absent this time. It's just September was absolutely crazy. And then the first weekends of October were just go, go, go. I had like events to attend. I had to be out of town. It was just nonstop um, go, go, go. So anyway, here we are. I'm gonna try to show you a recently completed uh, pocket notebook. This is the one that I think I showed you a little bit last time and I was using this Franklin Kristoff um, pocket notebook just to, um, initially it was a journal, a collage journal, and then um, I decided to add in um, a few little tidbits of like my purchases so like especially if I bought like a secondhand item like a secondhand pen or something I would the seller uh, would um, include a small little note thanking me for the purchase and such and some of them were just too pretty to like just toss in my opinion so I decided to um, add them in my little notebook and that's what this is mainly uh, just like a lot of like purchases and those types of stickers. So it's all over the place because I didn't, um, I realized that I, as I was filling the notebook, I had some pages toward the front that I forgot to fill. So I added some stuff in. And then uh, just yesterday I was adding uh, stuff to like um, here like these like the the back of the cover and the, and the very back so uh, Anyway, let's just enjoy the notebook as is and Personally, I won't stress about it not being in chronological order. So uh, But this is like I made a purchase from Hannah made it on Instagram uh, I bought some stickers from her and she sent this and she also sent me a cool little um charm for my traveler's notebook so i need to like put that on there but I, and then she sent this cool um what do you call it like instant uh polaroid a uh, polaroid that she took and that that was just too cute so i, I left it in there uh, and again that was one of my later purchases but i put it toward the front and this is like a little journal entry i was trying to journal in a smaller format um this is August 2021, friends. So <laughs> that tells you how slow I work. This is one of my favorites because I grabbed a piece of ephemera and I was doing a swatch of an ink. And then I just grabbed a, a collage piece or some ephemera and I just glued it on top. And I love the blue with the gold. <clears throat> um, just another journal entry. Oh, uh, this is when I started to um, add in some um, some of those things that I had purchased. And I think this was a glass pen. Yeah, a glass dip pen. So I had already crumbled the the piece, the little piece of ephemera. I was like, no, that's too cute. That's like the handwriting is beautiful. So I'm going to keep it in my notebook. Uh, here's like two more that I purchased from the same person. One was September, one was October. This is of 2022 so two years ago friends again <laughs> just so you can keep that in mind this is a kind of fun entry i have this like super big washi tape i forget what i got it from must have been like aliexpress or something uh but it was kind of cool another entry here we're going into oops that's my little girl uh, <clears throat> here we're getting into um 2023 so we're making progress this is a little uh, cut up postcard from a um, one of the postcards that Job sent out. So I cut it up and kept a few of the little images. Oh, here we're getting into 2024 now. And these are these are from Luke from when I was buying some of his pens, his dip pens. And I put one of his stickers here. So you can see I was initially aiming for this to be a journaling page, but I, I gave up on that in this little notebook because I wanted to uh, keep it more for like these types of notes. Um, my friend Dustin sent out a few banana duck stickers. So he sent me that note and he sent them in this little uh, baggie. So that was super cute. 
And at first I had like Chiquita Banana uh, stickers on here, but I didn't collect them all. So I was like, ah, you can go away. <clears throat> this is, I think, that, by the way, this pink is beautiful. And I think it's one from um, Andrelium. So, oh, and this is a commemorative page of like almost or my Orlando purchases because this is Dave Dollar Customs. You heard me talk about him a few weeks ago. And then um, Judith's um, sticker, and then also some stickers from Mrs. G's Crafties. Uh, so I kept that all together. This is from Nick. Yep, I put that there, and I put Nick's sticker here. Nick from Pen, uh, Nick Pasquale from Pens by Pasquale. And then I kept a little note from Keith from Random Things uh, in there. Oh, and this is like way, so this is like way, way, way before, but this is Rachel, uh, I think. Okay, I have purchased uh, something, I forget what. It must have been a bag, and she sent me a cute little note, so I kept it there. Uh, this is from, oh, my friend Patrick from uh, Glenn Stanley Pants. He's always included notes, so I always kept them, and I just love, like, the way they look in my little notebook with uh, my other pieces of ephemera, it's kind of cool. Uh, Zach from Scoxy. And then this is uh, Dragon Pens. No, Pen Dragon Pen Company. I put them together. This is from Mai. Oh, yeah, Mai from Paper Treats. Um, she sent a cute little note with my purchase. And this is, oh, I made a little note here. This is a Glenn Stanley because I just had to fold it uh, to make it all fit. So, yeah, I've definitely bought a few things from Glenn Stanley. Uh, this is like my fr uh, field notes was doing a birch box thing. So you could use toward a uh, future purchase. So after I used up my my birch box, I taped in the, the little $10 bill here. This is from Michaela from White Bear Pens. When I purchased one of her pens, she sent a cute note, a little uh, business card, and then she also sent a sample. So I included here the swatch of that sample. This is from, oh yeah, from Maria from Inks Inspiration when she sent me a bunch of samples and stuff. That was cute. And this, I had done swatches of some of my inks, but because they were on loose Tomoya River paper, I didn't really have a place for them. So I just taped them in here and they live here now because I have other swatch swatches somewhere else. This was another um, page using Job's postcards and then a little Job um, business card. And this is, oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, what was this? I don't even remember. Oh, I think I remember, yes. Uh, Tim sent out a few uh, stickers. Uh, more notes from Luke. I've been buying a lot from Luke also. Another one from Scoxy. This is cute, I made a little pocket. I kept a little card in there, so that was, look at me being creative. Another one by Nick from Pens by Pasquale. A little Dapper Notes collage, because I've been buying also a lot from him, and I have so many of his stickers that I decided to dedicate a page. And this was, uh, so I guess one time I was journaling and I, Oh, my friend Karina. Karina? No. Oh, my friend Kari. Kari Bullet Journal from Canada. When we saw each other at um, at the Chicago Pension, she gave me a bunch of stuff. And then she gave me this uh, tea. And it's maple flavored. It smells so amazing. So I was journaling with it. Uh, and I decided to keep the little... Uh, thingy and then this is stationary universe sticker a little purchase from pen realm what is this oh this is from when i got like all of my nibs for my fountain pen uh from pen realm from kirk so i made that note here 
This is also a note from Mary from Even Supposing on Instagram. And then this is another Glenn Stanley uh, note. I think this is my very last one. And more stickers. So yeah, that's the little book, friends. So it's a complete book now. And as you saw in the beginning, I um, I found this piece of string that um, I added just to. Because it is a little chunky, I thought it would be cute to just do this um, to kind of keep it together since I'm going to be putting this on my bookshelf. Uh, I didn't want it to, uh, like, I don't know, open all over the place and it mess up the flow. Um, but yeah, I know some people also like, like, you know, if it's something more personal, they seal it shut with like, um, with wax and they make a wax seal it's for me it was just more of like okay let's just keep it so that it doesn't um uh, open up in the middle of like it sitting down or i mean like sitting up on the shelf um uh, yeah there's no other purpose behind it and it's another way to use the little string because i don't i don't know where this came from quite honestly uh, but again it was too cute to like just toss so there you go friends I may start another one because I'm sure I'll be like purchasing other like um, secondhand items with little notes or just like little pens as well. Not little, but you know, like pens uh, from pen makers that they send out those cool stickers and notes. So yeah, I'll be doing that. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.